Hey there, it's Daniel from thegoodads.com where you can get free Google Docs templates and guides. In this video, you will see how to track changes on Google Docs with the suggestion mode. Considering that Google Docs in the first place is meant for real-time collaborative work by multiple people, you would want to keep track of all changes made review them, discuss them, and then decide which ones to add to the final version. In the Google Docs, it is done via Suggestion Mode, similar to the Track Changes function in Microsoft Word. Assuming that you are working on this document with a group of people, co-workers, changing something also affects the others. That's why there's such a nice feature to suggest edits before deleting or replacing something, so that others could consider it as well. On the document, go to the right side of the toolbar on top, to the Editing Mode button, press it, and in the menu select the second item, Suggesting. Now, as the mode has changed, the edits you will make in the document won't be applied until reviewed by the editor or the owner. So how does Suggestion Mode work in Google Docs? As I said earlier, it means to suggest edits before deleting or replacing something. Here's how the deleting looks in the Suggestion Mode. You highlight the text and press the common Delete or Backspace button. And what happened is that the text was not deleted, but got crossed out and put in such a box showing the edited area. And most importantly, it made a dialog window to pop up on the right to show who and when submitted which edit, saying that that was me in the morning and that I have deleted this. Now in this dialog window, you can add people with add sign to start a conversation on an edit. Or you can replace the text. And it's being done almost the same way as deleting. Highlight a part of the text, delete it, but then immediately enter something instead. I am going to replace January with December. Now you can see the change in the dialog window. It shows that I have suggested replacing January with December. On the other side, as the owner of the document, I can review edits made by other team members comment on them, discuss them, and then decide which ones to add to the final version and which to dismiss. So, on the document, there are edits, suggested by another person. I can press its dialog window and it will highlight for me the area where the change was made. So, another Daniel replaced 9 months with 7 months, but let's say that I want to discuss it. So, I go to the text entry field and reply that it will take more. Next up, Daniel added a one more responsible coordinator to the task. And I agree with that, so I accept the suggestion by pressing the check mark over here. And respectively, if I don't like the change, I simply decline it by pressing the cross mark next to a check mark. And this is it. But in an example with the text, because the suggestion mode means that you can actually change anything on the doc. Enter replace and delete text. Then suggest changing its formatting to bold, italic, increase the font size. You can even add images and drawings in the suggestion mode. Basically everything that you can do as an editor, but as a suggestion to be approved or declined by the others on the team hundreds more guides and a lot of free Google Docs templates on thegoodax.com following the link below the video. Like to help share our videos to more people and subscribe to see more guides. I hope we helped you. Thank you for watching.